There was a deeper rumble, the throaty sound of a passenger jet. Ben swivelled around, looking for the source of the sound. In the western corner of the sky, he spotted it. A huge airplane, possibly an Airbus A380, was tilting into a descending turn about three kilometres away. He watched it as it adjusted its trajectory. That plane. It's going to a holding pattern, Truby said. The airport must be busy. Ben watched, a cold dread slowly building inside his chest. But it's going to pass right over the air display team. The passengers will have a wonderful view, Caroline said. She seemed distant again and disengaged. Ben looked from her to Truby. Truby looked deadly serious now. He barely moved. Mum, that plane's big enough to interfere with the air currents. Darling, it's nowhere, no, nowhere near them. Benedict's right, Truby said. The manoeuvres those pilots are doing, there's no room for error. Even the slightest alteration in the air currents can throw them off. So why did the air traffic controller let the other plane get this close? I don't know, admitted Truby. Let's just hope they know what they're doing. Ben hunted for the three pilots in the sky. They'd split and were turning 180 loops on 45 degree angles from each other. The blue pilot was about a second behind the rest. Ben's breath caught like a lump in his throat. Truby was right. The blue pilot was about a second behind the rest. 